Hi, this is AS Maths, October 2020, Paper 2, Question 2, so we're still in the statistics part. So Jerry is studying um, visibility for Camborne using the large data set, so I'm very sorry, this is the large data set question. And, oh, I don't know what that is there. Um, oh, I do, that's that one, that can go. Uh, this is a large data set question. So, uh, table shows two extracts of the large data set. It shows a maximum relative humidity and a mean daily mean visibility. So maximum humidity is a percentage and daily mean visibility. Now, given that the daily mean visibility is to the nearest 100, to the nearest 100, write down a range of distances in metres that correspond to the recorded value of zero for the mean vis visibility. You would assume, if it's a, a nearest 100, that this would be zero to 50. And it kind of is, but they want the answer in metres and mean daily mean visibility is in decameters. So in metres, that is actually 500. And the only way you'll know that is if you look at the large data set and remember that clouds are octars divided by eight, etc. that kind of thing. So they generally like to ask a question I mean, they've, you know, now they've done it, they'll probably change the data set, but that's where we are for the moment on that one. Okay. And that's just one mark, so don't worry too much, or be prepared to lose that mark, it's your choice, really. Okay. Um, Jerry drew the following scattergram and calculated some statistics using the June 1987 data for Camborne on the large data set. Here it all is. You can see... Um, that looks like, if you were going to put something around it, there looks like there's a, some kind of correlation, a negative correlation. Jerry defines an outlier as a value more than 1.5 times the interquartile range above Q3 and 1.5 uh, below Q1. Show that the circle in the scattergram is an outlier for visibility. So, if you think about it, if you remember, this is your box and whiskers, as it were. You've got... Um, zero i suppose so q1 q2 is the median q3 q4 or minimum and maximum whichever you would want that kind of thing so q1 here is 1100 0, and the integral to our is 1600 0, which makes this 2700 0, 0 at the top because they haven't given you q3 but if you want to work out then the extremes you're going to do q1 and you're going to go down and then Q3, and you're going to go up. And anything outside, wherever these values lie, is considered an outlier. So sometimes you have one, sometimes you don't. So let's go. So we've got 1100, zero, zero, and we're going to take away 1.5 times the interquartile range. And whatever value that is, if you have any data less than that, and we can see it's a negative number. So looking over here, it doesn't go negative, so this is kind of pointless. If we go the other end, 2700, zero, zero, I'm going to add on 1.5 times the integral to our range. 2700 zero, zero, plus 1.5 times 1600. Zero, zero. We get 5100. Now looking at the circled one, that's 5000. They're going up in two, so that's 5,200. So that's approximately 5,003. Well, it probably, yeah. But that, whatever it is, it's greater than 5,100. Therefore, it's an outlier. Okay, interpret the correlation. Well, I kind of said that there's a negative correlation, but it's interpret the correlation between the daily mean visibility and the daily maximum relative humidity. So then we need to say, um, as... Um, daily maximum relative humidity. Sometimes it works and it increases because it's interpret. Yeah, it's not just tell me what the correlation is. The daily mean visibility decreases. Okay, right, final question. 
Again, just one mark. Jerry drew the following scattergram figure 3 in June 1987 data from the large data set but forgot to label the x axis. So he hasn't labelled this. Using your knowledge of the large data set, suggest which variable the x axis. Okay. So we've got mean visibility. We've got 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, going up to 14. Lots of things on the 0. Visibility. You either know it or you don't, or you can guess hours of sunshine. Because just because there's no sunshine doesn't mean to say there's no light necessarily, does it? It means that you don't have clouds, but no, you know, visibility is reduced if there's no sunshine, is what they're suggesting here. Um, whether it's a bit of fog, I suppose, or, you know, bad weather, um, but visibility, actual hours of sunshine, you get much better visibility.